Hey guys, Pro here, VIP Outdoors, on our third day talking products here. So, I don't know how guys do this, it's driving me crazy sitting in front of the camera just talking to myself. But anyways, I know it's going to help you guys out, uh, so that's what's most important. VIP number three blades. We have our both our Colorado and what we call our Switchblade. Okay, Switchblade is new this year, and uh, the 2019 year, the number three we've had around. All right, so most of you might wonder, well, what's the big difference between a number three and a half Colorado and a three Colorado? Other than just the half size, here's what we did with that size three Colorado and our three and a half Switchblade opposed to our three and a half Colorado and Cascade. Our three and a half Cascade and three and a half Colorado have what's called a hex pattern on there, okay? It looks like that honeycomb pattern. What happens is that creates a bunch of different facets. And as that blade rolls through the water, all those facets puts out, put out different rays of light in different angles at one given time. With the number three, what we did, when we downsized that blade a little bit, we smoothed the front and did a hammered back. Okay, the point of that number three is to give that fish a little bit more of a subtle presentation. So these might be for fish that are maybe been fished on quite a bit. They've been laying in fresh water for a little while. So for my fisheries uh, in particular, the Willamette River, as we get later into the season, into later May and June when that water starts to drop and warm up a little bit, um, sometimes those even a three and a half might be too much light for them, right? So we tone it down. And whereas the three and a half has all the different facets of light on there because of the honeycomb pattern, the rounded blades that just have no, no texture on the top, there's one apex of light, okay? There's one point of light that's on that blade and that's at the highest point, that's the brightest point of light. So we toned it down in size a little bit and we toned down the, the, um, the shine, if you will, uh, or the amount of color it puts out when, when you're talking um, about that spinner opposed to the three and a half. So that's the two differences between the two spinners. When do I use a, a size three opposed to a three and a half? Well, one of those instances is just what I told you when I'm toning things down. Okay, the different ways you could apply them, they fish great behind the pro troll, they fish great in line, they're great in front of a prawn spinner, um, there's a soft spinner, and you have to excuse me, I kind of laugh when, when I hear about these soft spinners, but what guys do is they just take line and they bring it down to their hook, tie it on, put tubing or no tubing, a couple beads, uh, detachable clevis and put it behind a pro, pro troll. It does work. Uh, in my experience, it doesn't work better than a, a hard spinner. Uh, what guys are would like is the flexibility of the hook. But anyways, I don't know. Some guys like it. Not a VIP outdoors. Strong leg bull. Anyways, here we go. Moving on. So that's our, our number three Colorado and Cascade, the difference between a three and, and three and a half. Okay. And what we did on the three switchblade which is ultimately a three cascade is we call this now our switchblade spinner what i what we did is we punched a hole in both ends of our cascade because we have guys that like a pattern on top or bottom okay so a lot of them are patterns that are going to be interchangeable all right we put all of them on the stainless steel detachable clevis and then typical tubing, beads, whatnot. And we went with the size one, two times strong owner ST41 hook. So this is a two times strong number one, okay? One of the things at VIP Outdoors, we recognize what's good, what's not good, and what's the best. It took me about three years to figure out the best hook to put on that size three and a half Colorado and Cascade. And we have that on that spinner. In toning things down a little bit, I wanted to go to that black hook. And I wanted to go to just a smidge smaller profile. But in doing that, I didn't want to go back to the hooks that could potentially break or bend out. So this owner, size one, two times strong, you're not going to have that. But you still have enough gap and enough depth in your point to get into that heavy cartilage of a fish that's been in fresh water for a longer period of time uh, than what I call a fresh fish who's just getting into that fresh water. So anyways, this is our three and a half or this is our three switchblade spinner and then we have our blades also available. Both of them are online at VIPoutdoors.com. I'm going to harass the stores about putting these in there next year. And for the 2020 season. So if you don't see it, it's not because I didn't ask. Um, also, 
we have our sportsman show season coming up here at the end of January, all of February and March. We'll be in Puyallup, we'll be in Portland, we'll be in Redmond, Redmond, we'll be at the Saltwater Show. At Puyallup, Portland, and Redmond, all the O'Loughlin trade shows, we are going to be doing seminars on spinner fishing for salmon. And guys, that's what I do, okay? That is my bread and butter. I'm one of the few guys that can leave the dock uh, just with metal and be confident in the type of result we're going to have in our day. So I look forward to seeing you there. Uh, make sure these spinners right here, this is part of your arsenal. You are going to want these. Uh, and the flexibility of switching that blade upside down, uh, whichever direction you want, is, is really a pretty cool feature. At first, I was like, yeah, it's kind of gimmicky, and I hate gimmicks. I like killing stuff. And there is some days it absolutely makes a difference so thanks for watching that's our number three switch blade our number three colorado both in loose blades thick spinners however you want to fish them thanks for watching guys and post anything you guys want on here uh any feedback is good for us i love learning and i'll tell you the day you close your ears and won't shut your mouth is the day you stop learning. Uh, so any feedback we got coming is good for us. It helps make us a better product, helps make me a better fisherman, and uh, I, it's always appreciated. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys soon.